Hi guys, it's Alex, and I'm going to be reacting to the video that made me viral at Glastow. But you guys are too far away for me to even be able to see you. Who is sober enough to sing these lyrics along with me? I see a PhD show over there, but do you know the lyrics? They're right there, basically. Um, I get on my friend's shoulders, he's calling people up to the stage and that was it. <laughs> I don't know what was going through my head, I just got on my friend's shoulders. And I, I thought I was going to have a heart attack, it was so exciting. <laughs> he looks like he knows the lyrics. Yeah, let's take a chance in him, let's take a chance. He's wearing a Thiago Silver shirt. At that point, I was literally screaming the lyrics at the top of my lungs just to make sure it, like, he knew. Because it, if he didn't think I knew the lyrics, then he obviously wasn't going to take me up. And then I turned like I then my mates were all screaming, show him the Tiago Silver on the back, show him the Tiago Silver on the back. So I turned around and then that's when he said it and that's when he's like, yeah right, get him up here. Shut up, let's get him up here. Jeez. <laughs> What's your name, lad? Alex. The security guards had got me up on stage. I had to climb up two layers of stages and at that point my legs were going. I was shaking, I was shaking. I was like, no, like, this can't be real. This is Glastonbury Festival. And I'm performing with my favourite artist, Dave. And then I just get up there, shake his hand. He passes me the mic and I just no clue what to say. Alex. Alex, how are you doing? You feeling good? Mate, I'm Buzzing. I was still nervous, nervous, shaking, and then so I'm, I ask him some water. He takes me back, and he has, like he passes me this can bit of water, and then it, I was so shaking. I was literally dribbling down my lip. My hands were still going, and then he starts chanting Tiago Silva, and then I don't know. I just lost all nerves instantly and just went out to show the crowd. As soon as that beat dropped, that's when I knew that I could not mess it up there because if I messed it up, that's live TV, that would have been ever, like as big as, as viral it's got now, it would have been that, but it would have been my mistake. So I just knew I could not mess it up. But yeah, right there, he's giving me a little pep talk. He's, he says, if I mess, if I don't know any of the lyrics and just look him straight in the eye and he'd help me out and to only do AJ's lyrics, but I could not stick to that, I got too excited. I ended up doing most of the song myself. And that's when I grabbed his face, I just didn't know what to do, I was too excited. <laughs> At this point, I think I was just fully going for it. I just seen the entire. I, I saw loads and loads of my mates through the front row of the crowd. Like even not just a group I was with, just so many faces I recognise. People mosh pitting through the left, the right. I was like, right, this. I'm never been going to be able to do this again. I need to make this count. So I just tried getting the crowd as livened up as possible. It was amazing. <laughs> Yeah, this, mate, I, I thought he was going to stop it there and just send me down. I was like, no, I need to do more. Uh, yeah, I finished off that last bar at the end and then that's when I was ready. I, I, I took one look out into the crowd and then I just saw this huge just field of people ahead of me. I was like, right, what have I got myself into? And then I hear the beat going again. And Yeah, I was just doing Dave's lyrics at this point. He told me, I'll just do AJ's bit, but I was just getting way too carried away. I couldn't stop myself. There's no way I'd, on one of the biggest stages, at one of the biggest festivals in the world, I was just going to stop there. I just kept going. Yeah, I was just so excited and I knew the song was nearly over. So I just grabbed Dave, put my arm around him. I was, I was just living my best time of my life. I might as well make most of it. And then I looked back out in the crowd 
it was insane. Everybody was just just seemed to be loving it. I, I didn't understand why, so I just just kept going. At that moment, I was that was probably the best thing that happened to me. Looked him straight in the eyes, just shook his hand, was going bar for bar lyrics. <laughs> I was just I I've, I've noticed this is special. I knew the song was definitely over, it wasn't going to wheel up again. So I just went for it in that very, very last bit. And, and all the flames, like all the smoke went up. I was, I just had no words. I was so shocked just on that stage. Seriously, that was probably the best moment that's ever happened to me in my life. I don't think, it was my first Glastonbury in. I think that's the best thing that can ever, ever happen to anyone at Glastonbury. It's my favourite artist, so there's no like beating it. And I played board on the stage with him in the biggest festival in the world. So what happened when you came off stage? I walked past, because the security sent me back round, and I walked in like, a line to get back to my mates. And oh my God, everyone was screaming my name. Everyone was just chanting, Alex, Alex, Alex. So I think that was probably the best walk I've had in my life. As the act finished, I, everyone was asking for photos, coming up to people I've never ever met in my life. It was getting to a stage only a minute away to see another act I really wanted to see. It ended up taking about 30, 40 minutes just to get there because it was just so packed. I was getting offered things by everybody, getting offered like drinks, money, it was crazy. Do you have a message for Dave and Diarco Silva? Thanks for making my life, this completely changed it forever. Thanks.